the creek at the big rocks. talking about maybe having to shoot our way out. You're just sitting there, all of you are, are kind of petrified. You're just waiting to, for the walls to break open and something reach in there and grab you and hold you up and waiting for the light to break in the cracks of the walls and never happened. That's the strange part because you hear it over there but you don't see it over there. As time went on, 72, same thing. You know, whatever it was we thought might be trying to scare us out. Maybe this is their territory but I, we don't know, we can only guess at why they were doing what they were doing and uh, that they were observing us, that's for sure. Well, we do know that their vocal range is much greater than human beings. Their uh, frequencies go way above and way below the abilities of humans. I was trained in all of the deceptive practices in voice communications. Besides the fact that you have the creatures stepping on each other in their conversational turns, you have the, uh, the humans, like Ron, stepping on the creatures back and forth, overlapping their voices on the tapes. That can't be faked. Not in 1974. Plus, it's, it would be extremely dangerous uh, to come up here at night into a camp full of well-armed hunters. They don't go to bed at night without their guns at their sides. Yeah. It's ridiculous to think of it. You wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it just to coax a bunch of hunters up here. <laughs> 